Welcome. Several times during today's Canvas course, you will need to take a screenshot of material that is in a Canvas course for which you are a teacher and submit that as an assignment for the Canvas course in which you are enrolled as a student. Doing this involves having two instances of Canvas open. You can see that I have Canvas open in a course for which I am a student, and I also have Canvas open for a course in which I am a teacher. In the course for which I am a student, I can see there is a demo turn in and I need to turn in a screenshot. If I click on that, very simple assignment, just tells me to turn in a screenshot and there's a purple submit assignment button. In order to get that screenshot, I'm going to need to jump back over to the instance where I am a teacher and I see there's a very simple page that I've created here. This one obviously just has a couple of lines of text. Yours is probably going to have more than that. You could screenshot this page right here or the alternative would be you can hit save and see how the page will actually be displayed in your course. This is what I would recommend as it will give you a more complete view of how your page will look. When you are ready to take the screenshot, if you are on a Windows device, you're going to hit the Start button and you're going to locate the snipping tool. Now you may notice the snipping tool is pinned to my Start menu. However, that will not be the case for everyone. So if you search and type snipping or just type start to type snip, it will appear. Once you have clicked on that, the screen will gray out. Do not click anything on the menu down here. Notice these crosshairs appear in place of the cursor. If I left click and drag, I'm going to get a screenshot of the page that I created in the course for which I'm a teacher. It will pop up in the snipping tool window and then I'm going to hit save, which is the blue disc in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to save that in a place where I can easily remember where it is and where I can know where to access it in the future. So I'm just going to go into store mine on the desktop and I'm going to call it screenshot example. And I hit save. Once I have saved that, I'm going to go back to the instance of Canvas where I am a student and I am going to click the purple submit button. It may be a different color depending on which instance of Canvas you are using. I'm going to click the submit assignment button. And here I have the option to choose a file. I'm going to click the choose file button. I'm going to remember where my file was stored. I know mine was stored on the desktop and I know it was stored as example screenshot. So I'm going to find example screenshot or screenshot example rather. And then I'm going to hit open and then I'm going to hit submit assignment. And I've now taken what was on my instance of Canvas as a teacher and submitted that as an assignment in the instance of Canvas where I am a student. So I know that my assignment has been turned in because it says resubmit assignment. Now there may be some people who will be using a Chromebook. If you are using a Chromebook it's basically the same process except for there are a couple of things that are different. Instead of having the snipping tool you will have to hit the control and the shift button and then the switch windows button all three of those at the same time. The shift windows button is above the 6 and the 7 key and it looks like a square with two lines to the right of it. Once you do that the crosshairs will appear just like the snipping tool on Windows and you will grab your snip just the same as you would on Windows by left clicking and dragging. However you will need to have the additional step of you will need to go to your Google Drive and you will need to start a new Google Drawing and you will need to paste Control V or right click and paste your screenshot into window or I'm sorry into Google Drawing and then you will need to give it a title so we'll call it example screenshot this time and then I will want to download that as either a JPEG or a PNG file and once I do that it is going to go to the downloads folder and then back in Canvas I would have the submit a submit button again I'm going to click resubmit because I've already done it once, but I would choose the file and this time instead of looking on the desktop, I would look in the downloads folder and I would find the example screenshot and I would then turn that in. So that's how the process varies when you are on a Chromebook. Very useful to be able to take information that you have in a course for which you are the teacher and submit that into a course for which you are a student. And we'll be doing that several times throughout today's course. If you have any questions about how to complete this procedure, please let me know. I'll be happy to help you. But hopefully this video will guide you through and give you some uh, examples of how to complete this important operation. <music>